right, in today's video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips, tricks and strategies for grooming for 2023 for men. I know right off the bat, my haters are like, they must be <laughs> laughing and falling off their chairs. This guy, look, look at his face, look at his body, look at his hair, looks like a one of this planet of the apes walking. Baba, relax, just give me a few minutes, no, let me say, then you... Call me Planet of the Apes, which is actually a compliment because I thought it was a great movie. Anyway, so I'll give you a couple of tips, tricks and pointers. You let me know. You agree, disagree, whatever. Now, it's very subjective from person to person. And uh, if you have been raised in a family that has, uh, you know, common sense education, good upbringing and line of communication, you will be taught and trained what to do. But guess what? There are majority of people who just don't have that. Now, I'm not going to start telling you buy this expensive cream or buy this exotic, organic free, gluten free, this free, that free. No. I'll give you simple, basic things that a normal person can buy. Normal. Okay. All right. So comment down below if you think I've missed out on anything. And yeah, please remember this is slightly intimate. So I'll be focusing on intimate areas of your body also. So, just be warned. Alright, so the, see the first thing is obviously, head. Now, I don't have hair. So, that's a different question altogether. But remember this, you have to take care of your hair because that's what sits. And that is why when you see a person, you see a bald, shiny head like Jeff Bezos versus Elon Musk who has hair transplant. We always look at someone with healthy hair. So, hair you have to take care. You can't... Um, use cheap chemicals or you cannot use extra strong see some brands no i'm not too sure because i've not used shampoo in a long time but some brands i don't know if i'm right or wrong you can correct me head and shoulders very strong shampoo very very strong it smells very strong and then there are these feminine products like sun silk and all so over here i would just suggest use um, consult someone especially women Women really have to take care of their hair. So if you're a man and you're not too sure, I would say ask a woman who has sizable long hair, one whose hair looks healthy, okay? They would know much better because they have to take care of their hair. And it's, remember, long hair compared to the little hair for men. Now, men's products are advertised, but they can be misleading. I would suggest unless you have some premium guy or doctor who can really guide you i would suggest go to ask a female who has long hair who takes care and who is slightly aged not young slightly aged and they'll guide you on what do they use okay it always helps and uh, one word of caution is don't keep experimenting with different you know whatever shampoo conditions whatever you try because sometimes what works for your body may not work for someone else so hair and Another thing is, make sure that it's always healthy. I used to make the mistake of putting too much gel and spray until my hair became like stone because I wanted it to remain in a way. That is not healthy at all. Make sure you massage your scalp. So dead hairs, a lot of dead hairs will fall out. Uh, you know, some people put coconut oil or whichever cream. Just make sure you take care and don't overly oil it. And at the same time, don't use strong chemicals. And remember, hair should be, you should take care of it. And if you're balding or losing hair, I strongly suggest not to get a wig. Because, I don't know, for me, I find that cartoonish and ridiculous and funny. It's like obvious, many people, when they put a wig, it's very obvious that they're wearing a wig. So, if hair transplant, please don't do cheap. I saw this documentary on Vice where people actually die uh, trying to get the transplant. Please, uh, uh, if you don't have the funds for a legitimate hair transplant and this thing, being bald is not so bad. I know society and people and friends all make fun. Trust me, you have millions in the bank, nobody will give a fuck. But obviously, if you can't earn millions, you want to look good, don't. I'm telling you don't because it can cost you more money and affect your health and even death. So be careful of 
hair transplant and do check out the vice documentary on hair transplant okay deaths in india so be careful even in thailand they have a lot of bot surgeries the next one comes to face now i'm not going to focus on too much on surgery and this and that but your face is the most important point of connection anyone you see you check the face first we try to identify people based on their face so the face you have to take care what i suggest is look at yourself in the mirror after you get up see do you have puffy eyes do you have pimples do you have i don't know uh, areas of your face that you're not happy with blackheads or whatever you have to take care find out uh, which soap works with you for me neutrogena for me those days neutrogena is to work very well uh facial wash you can try the ones where they remove dead skin it's a trial and error i would say just go to a a uh, proper dermatologist who will recommend what to do it's a one time investment and make sure that the dermatologist is recommended and uh, here again also i ask females because females would make up every day and they have to wash it off so obviously what do you use to remove chemicals so i've asked a lot of females on that cream now some people may have oily skin some people may have dry skin so figure out from a dermatologist for me what i tend to do is when i wash my face or when i have bath uh it's generally minimum 15 20 minutes to half an hour uh in my younger days i used to have bath in hot water then cold but the problem with hot water is it ages your skin faster the good side of hot water is all your dirt and stuff gets cleaned okay so the more longer you stay in heat sauna steam the faster your wrinkles will show that is why if you see people in the desert hot and dry their skins are very wrinkled or people work in the sun versus someone in a cold country where their face is very like compact so the uh, hot water is very i uh, generally have a separate like i told you neutrogena for the face and body i use body wash and that all soap I'm okay with that. You can find out which soap works well. There are some company like Johnson Johnson that have pH soap. But then again, remember, it's better to have one which you can afford. But take care of your face. Uh massage it and make sure that you wash properly. Even when I shave, I use Chic Quattro, the 5 blade. Um I I kind of like that. It's very expensive blades, but it lasts for a long time for me. And I shave only after like at least five minutes of busy washing, scrubbing my face, making sure the the beard bits, the bristles. I think you call it bristles, yeah, is softened and yeah. And when I shave, I shave against the grain. And obviously, after shaving, I feel it. And I also have a Braun high end, um, you know, face electric shaver. So any bits are missed. I finish off with that. and then uh, obviously you can use cream or you can use some i do a strange thing which i don't recommend you know alcohol <laughs> not whiskey or the uh, actual alcohol i put it kind of burns like old spice kind of thing so make sure that you take care if you have pimples or dry skin or blackheads because your face speaks about your personality and if you are in a place that is hot and uh humid and wet and all that you have to really take care of your face remember the face is very very important and if you have a beard or mustache or whatever go to a barber once a week get proper lining you know don't you shave one will be up one will be down and sometimes you try to shave here and it is is uneven not go spend some money look nice i'm not saying and you don't have to go to a super expensive barber you can go to a normal guy man So just take care of that. So keep everything perfect and look at your face and decide does clean shave work for you? Is having a beard work for you? Having a mustache, having a frenchy. Look at your photograph from different perspectives and that will speak volumes about your brand. Okay. And yeah, even if you keep a beard white and black and please don't please don't uh make if you have white half in this and you make it black it's very easier to spot that you put color and don't try to go too funky here huh? 
just be careful especially your lines i even trim my eyebrows because they grow too big and i clean shave you know shave quarto once every 3 days 4 days but yeah i do scrub my face and take care of it uh then comes the body obviously i use body wash and i use soap and i also use a scrubber because i like to scrub the body i'd always recommend hot water baths and then cold water but for me i made it a decision here i'll always have bath in ice cold water which is good enough for me in my younger days sports especially hot water cold water is to do that um so scrub and really take care from your um every part of your body scrub it like you really as if you're really taking care of even your feet and your toes and under it take care of it uh, sometimes i put a youtube video and i listen to it and i take a small chair where not chair like plastic this thing sit down scrub my feet and all that and some people have this they even put hot oil massage and they go and uh you know scrub 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 and then they wash it makes you feel fresh now hair body hair some people like it some people don't like it i personally don't like it that's why if you see now even though i have body hair i trim it with that also a dog trimmer i've tried uh, the for men the one but what i realized is that one has metal blades and has to always get cuts man sometimes it's very deep sometimes it used to actually stab you know one of the sharp end is actually went inside and it's heavy but with this pet trimmer they have plastic blades at the top it's cheaper and you can go fast without getting cuts so i've used that i've only thing is the wear and tear maybe hi but every year i buy a brand new one i had a very expensive uh, bosher or something i don't know what is the name very expensive one i mean i think 1500 us dollars i spent for <laughs> crazy expensive but i stopped using the after i stab myself kind of crazy so i just use a pet trimmer uh i prefer i don't shave with the blade underarms and your pubic region that is up to you uh if you don't know how first trim with a um you know trimmer and then use a separate blade but don't have it too cheap or it can give cuts huh? and sometimes the cuts can be very serious especially if you have any pimples or you know i don't know uh, hair growth which is in different areas you wouldn't want multiple cuts so take a slightly you can even use a mac mac 3 or i don't know up to you use whichever blade you feel i spend a little bit more on blades and like i told you i use she quattro so when it comes too old for my face i use the same blade for my private parts and uh, after i clean shave it obviously with soap and everything after i clean shave it i always put a duo roll on take one which is sensitive uh, to your skin and doesn't form an allergic reaction and uh, i apply that to my underarms not to my private region and then i put powder i don't know that works for me there are even sprays which make sure you don't sweat i don't think that is healthy you need to sweat you can't numb that skin and uh, i put powder because i tend to sweat a lot and this place is very humid and uh, yeah one very big thing people ask me how do you prevent body odor after i shower and put the duo roll on and powder on my physique on my body this is a, a strategy that i followed that has really helped me uh after i have bath i use a perfume that is good for my body different perfumes have different reactions to your skin so don't smell from the cap put a little bit on your skin smell it and uh, wait for a few seconds try another one and then you can figure out which one works for you and don't try too many at a time your nose will not be able to recognize and then uh, after you sprayed take powder and put it so dab it uh, or you can put powder first and then after it's put the perfume and then you can put powder again just make sure you clean it so there's no excessive powder there i after i just rub it rub it rub it so it's there and then i put a white they call it a banyan like half sleeve so the powder and the perfume they get locked in inside that vest and then on top of that i put whatever i have to put i know this might sound like hey, isn't too hot no 
it's very thin very thin material and the reason i do this is because all the years that i have used this technique there is no body odor that comes out then obviously your below uh, that is your uh, private parts there also you can trim and all that some people even go to uh, you know men bars or something i've never gone for that uh, i used to have girlfriends used to trim even my butt hair <laughs> not with a razor but with a trimmer so today i can manage to do it by myself just line obviously i'm not paranoid about getting the perfect i just use my <laughs> hands to feel but leg hair and hand hair and all that that i use a trimmer and finally this might come as a surprise uh, it comes down to what you eat okay what you eat is what you'll secrete out for example a very simple uh, experiment i'll give try eating after you get up in the morning try eating tons of garlic oh by the way i forgot teeth i have to tell you teeth and gums i'll come to that try eating lots of garlic i'll tell you uh, not only your mouth will smell uh, or eat onions not only your mouth will smell when you shit your shit will stink like so bad maybe all the cockroaches rats and wild animals in the area will run away it will be so bad because your body is releasing and please never do that before you have sex because your partner will actually say yeah it tastes like garlic and i speak from experience you smell like garlic so that is why if you have fruits tropical fruit that's why they show you know romantic stuff strawberries pineapple you actually taste sweet but that doesn't mean you throw out uh, the week you eat uh, tobacco and garbage and spicy stuff and just before sex you eat pineapple no you have to really take care of your body by eating good food fresh fruits and vegetables really take care of your body so what you eat put in your body really helps so avoid excessive you know that cooking oil avoid especially if your face and skin is oily avoid uh, processed food not good eat plenty of raw fruits and vegetables and uh, yeah and it's important to communicate to your partner what she likes doesn't like and uh, yes i would say one tip that i'll give before sex is always have a complete wash <laughs> plan it out before you do it so that you are well groomed and last but not the least i'm talking about teeth and gums uh i have always experimented with different brands from sensodyne to uh, all of the colgate and all that i was a hardcore fan of sensodyne because i thought the most expensive toothpaste is the best i realized that's not the case but uh get a toothpaste and really take care morning and night some people actually even do it after eating meals which i feel is a bit too much you can maybe try chewing gum especially if you have bad breath and uh, make sure that you do it slowly in circular motion speak to your dentist i'm telling you this it might come sound funny but i didn't know how to brush my teeth i had to violently full force until my teeth used to heat up and i damage all my teeth up down here completely and they had to put fillings because i damaged it so badly with the way that i brushed for years and the damage is permanent so make sure that you brush slowly in circular motions have a soft tooth uh, toothbrush and you know also brush your tongue and the upper part of your mouth uh, i use three or four different toothpastes at a time uh today my favorite being sensodyne and colgate different varieties are there and yes mouth wash in the end and yeah so that's what i do and really take care overall see grooming is a habit uh, you have to take it very seriously because that is the make it or break it uh, you know part for your image your brand your the reputation and what people think of you don't take it lightly because just as you wouldn't want to have a sex say you wouldn't want to have sex with a girl who smells like urine trust me there are many girls who smell the underarms and this and that Whew. and what do you do if you have a partner like communicate i have literally told all my partners including my wife what i like and what i don't like even if you want your partner to shave her bush you have to communicate or you like particular sex in a way then at the same time you have to ask her what does she like so both of you communicate and figure out
and yeah over the period of time you will grow and learn and become better remember one final thing always ask someone who is in the limelight or who has experience because for me i took advice from uh models i took advice from you will find this shocking uh, to know even prostitutes and high end prostitutes now i would ask them they would find it very strange but they, they would oblige and i learned so much in fact you will be shocked to know prostitutes take more precaution than normal people uh women who have had women and men who have traveled and seen the world but yeah you don't have to go overboard with uh, exotic treatments just remember simple clean a good clean bath good clean soap good clean shampoo and the rest that's enough make grooming a habit and people's opinion about you will change for me after i finish all the walking in the sun now i'll spend another half an hour scrubbing myself and yes maybe after a day or two you'll see no more hair and and obviously i'll be shaving today completely even if you do like this you'll not feel anything so that's how i take care of my face so that's what i suggest to you let me know your thoughts in the comments below and yeah if you have any doubts uh put it there if there's something i know i'll answer if i don't know i'll tell you i don't know all right and don't be kinky the comments all right you guys take care this means signing off ciao